The importance of the hair and of the head as linked to the social status translates itself in a variety, enormous variety of ornaments for the headdress. In China, the style of hair ornaments changed dramatically with the end of the Ming dynasty in 1644 and the establishment of a new dynasty, the Qing dynasty. The Qing dynasty was established by an ethnic group that was not Han Chinese, so it was the Manchu coming from Manchuria, so north of China. They naturally brought their own identity, culture and customs in the fashion of court culture, but also dresses and of course hair ornaments. One of the ways of establishing themselves as Chinese emperors was to show that they would know Chinese cultures just as well as a Chinese Han emperor would have. They kept the shape of their original headdress and implemented them with materials originating from the Chinese traditional cultures such as jade and kingfisher feathers and ornated them with decorative motifs originating from the Chinese repertoire. The Qing dynasty introduced a new original hairstyle into the Chinese history of hairdress, which is called the Liang Batou. It consists in separating two ribbons of hair and wrapping them around a flat strip called the Bianfang, made of wood, of jade or of precious metals. This flat strip was supported by gold wires that was linked to a base that was put on the head to create a very articulate and a very large headdress. The higher and the larger the headdress was, the more important was the status of the lady who was wearing it. A famous painting by American painter Catherine Carle in 1903 shows Empress Dowager Cixi wearing an imposing Liang Batou headdress, traditional Manchu, but implemented with hairpins of different materials, different colors, and showing many symbols from the Chinese traditional repertoire. Some of these symbols include, for example, bats. Bat is a symbol of luck because of the sound association of the name bat, pronounced fu, and happiness, pronounced also fu. So there is a sound association between these two concepts that makes the bat precious and admired symbol. Kingfisher feathers were used on hair ornaments because of their iridescent reflections that make them look purple, blue, or green, depending on the angle from which they were viewed. One of the symbolism attached to kingfisher feathers is a wish of marital happiness. This is because kingfisher would sometimes fly as a couple and therefore kingfisher feather would be adapted and used on air hair ornaments used for a wedding gift. All this codification and large amount of ornaments came to an end in 1911 with the end of the imperial period and the establishment of Republic of China.